Non-Commissioned Officer Academy and the graduations of the 79 Tango Senior Leader Course, Class 18-011. My name is Sergeant First Class Jeffrey Wheeler, and it's my pleasure to serve as your Master of Ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the national anthem and the invocation. The official party consists of Missouri Recruiting and Retention Section Chief Master Sergeant Roger D. Moss, Small Group Leader for First Platoon, Sergeant First Class Morgan Smith, and Small Group Leader for Second Platoon, Sergeant First Class Anthony Vaughn. The invocation will be given by Staff Sergeant Wayne Gadsden. Let us pray. Dear most gracious and heavenly Father, Father, we come before you right now in the humblest way we know how, thanking you for everything that we've been through, Father, and reaching this pinnacle. Father God, right now I ask you for traveling grace and mercy for every one of my battle buddies standing before you right now, Father. And I just ask you just to bless and keep us, and keep us under your watch. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Please be seated. Today we are gathered to celebrate the graduation of Class 18-011. For the past three weeks, these NCOs have learned leadership, counseling, coaching, and mentoring, Army writing, critical thinking, and problem solving, just to prepare them as leaders for the recruiting and retention battalions of their respective states. At this time, it is with great pleasure to introduce the Missouri Recruiting and Retention Battalion Master Sergeant, Master Sergeant Roger D. Moss. Master Sergeant Moss enlisted into the Army Reserves on December 30th, 1996 as a junior in high school. He trained as a 92 Alpha Automated Logistics Specialist and was assigned to the 424th Maintenance Company at Arroyo for, uh, near Fort Leonardwood, Missouri. He later transferred to the 428th Trans Company in Jefferson City, Missouri in 2000 and was promoted to the rank of Sergeant. He deployed as a squad leader with 428th Trans Company to um, Al Tajah, Iraq from November 2003 to February 2005. Upon returning from this deployment, Master Sergeant Moss was selected by the Command Sergeant Major of USAREC at an AGR hiring fair to become a recruiter for USAREC. He attended recruiter training at Fort Jackson and upon return transferred over to the Missouri Army National Guard to work on GWAT orders for the Missouri Recruiting and Retention Battalion in Jefferson City. Master Sergeant Moss became AGR for the Missouri Recruiting and Retention Battalion in October of 2006. He was promoted to Sergeant First Class in 2009 and served as a field recruiter until June of 2012. Master Sergeant Moss then became the Automation NCYC for the Missouri Recruiting and Retention Battalion until December of 2015. Master Sergeant became a recruiter and team leader for Area 6 and led the Alpha team of Area 6 until July 1st of 2018. Master Sergeant Moss is currently assigned as the Section Chief for Area 6. Ladies and gentlemen, Master Sergeant Moss.
All right, good morning. <laughs> so there's that, right? And I got, it's always something in recruiting. Either we're uh, misplacing something or we're losing a voice before we get to a school. It's always something, isn't it? <laughs> I was driving down here yesterday making that little ride to uh, Little Rock. It's a drive from Missouri. And I'm thinking, isn't this typical? I'm sitting here calling my friends. My buddies are, are all calling me. Where are you at, man? You know, come to hang out with us at The Rock. Well, no, of course not. No, I was at the office until 7, making sure people on the floor tomorrow, which is today, of course. And then I get on the road, and then my voice is gone. So I think that sums up recruiting as a whole. Uh, but somehow we managed to make it, don't we? It's because we're professionals, and we've done this. We've done it, we've done it, we've done it. Um, I want to leave you some words of wisdom. Um, I've been asked not to give my life story. Sergeant Ash um, messaged me actually three or four times. Hey, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I sent a two-minute warning, so uh, she must know me. I, I do get to uh, monologue in a little bit. So um, I think it's something that you guys shared in your class, and I saw it uh, from Sergeant Ash, is leadership is not about being excellent. It's about making the ones around you excellent. Um, I think we can see that most in recruiting. It's not about what we can do. It's not about beating our chests. Um, which you guys are getting ready to go to. I I don't know. I'm not familiar with all your states, but I know we do team leaders. Um, But you're going to be in a leadership role. Those guys are going to be looking up to you. The E6s, the E5s, they're looking at you now. And even though you feel like you haven't changed, you're wearing that rank. You guys are all going to be starting first classes. You guys are going to be experts. If you're not already, you will be real soon. And they're going to be looking at you. So just keep that in mind. And every time you do something for someone else, it does kind of hurt a little bit on the pride because as recruiters, we've always been taught, make it, make it, be the one, stand out. It's about a team and you're gonna learn that. It was a hard lesson for me, but there's no greater deed, I promise you, than watching people. Um, I, I got to promote a couple of my peers. They were peers, I got promoted, now I'm, I'm promoting them and they're up there with me and it's the greatest feeling in the world. So make those around you excellent and then you can take some pride. It's not about you, when they're getting promoted, it's about them, but in your heart, you're like, yeah, yeah, I was there. I, was, I helped with that. That's a big deal. Um, the next thing I think I would also um, let you guys leave with is, is this. It's just remember, uh, someone's always watching, no matter what. And that's not a big brother. It's not a uh, be careful. It's not a UCMJ. It's a remember, you're in that dad role. You're in that mom role now. You've kind of made it. E7 is a huge rank. As recruiters, we see the people every day don't quite make it to that rank, don't we? We see him getting out at four or three, not making, you guys have pretty much made it. You think past this is gravy. So be the leader that you know that you can be, be the leader that you've always wanted. Take that home with you and you'll do great things, I promise. Thanks for allowing me to be here, appreciate it. Thank you, Max Arm, for sharing those kind, thoughtful words. At this time, Sergeant First Class Smith and Sergeant First Class Vaughn will address their platoons for the very last time. Please hold your applause until all students have received their diplomas. Small group leader, Sergeant First Class Smith Smith from First Platoon. All right, first of all, second platoon, congratulations, well done. Um, Each of you deserve to be here. First platoon, it's been a wild three weeks, all right? Um, I'm gonna leave you with three things. First, be self-aware. Um, just like Master Sergeant said, know that everything you do, people are watching. You have an impact on other people's lives. Second, integrity. Do your own work. Right? <laughs> um, be proud of what you are and what you stand for. Finally, now the real work begins. Okay? We've given you the tools. It's now up to you to take those tools and develop others and be that leader that everybody requires and everybody deserves. First platoon, prepare to graduate. Serve first class, Adrian Alvarez. Staff Sergeant Clint Bain. Staff Sergeant Jason Brewer. Sergeant First Class Gary Caton. Staff Sergeant Carlos Chaparro.
Staff Sergeant Irwin Ferry. Staff Sergeant Wayne Gadsden. Staff Sergeant Stephen Good. Staff Sergeant David Hall. Sergeant First Class Cam Hahn. Staff Sergeant Elizabeth Hash. Sergeant First Class Seth Heath. Staff Sergeant Corey Inus. Sergeant First Class John McKeon. Now second to small group leader, Sergeant First Class Anthony Vaughn. Hey, First Platoon, congratulations. Welcome to our pool. Second two, the Brazilian team. All right. So as, as people, normally we remember the thing that we hold truest to us is the very last thing we heard. And the last block we went through was resiliency. Well, and in that comes, you get three natural responses. Of course, we all heard of fight or flight, right? But there's a third, which is freeze. A lot of times we don't talk about freezing. So, but for us as senior leaders, we can't freeze arms. We can't. Your subordinates rely on you that much to where you don't. You show your poker face, you drive through, you get it done. At the end of the day, they're looking up to you. You all have the tools to make it, but will you use those tools? Pull them out your, pull, your tool bag each and every day. You step up, get in your uniform, and say, I'll be the best version of me that I can be. Because at the end of the day, all you have is you, but you have your team around you to help support you and make that thing happen. Well, I'm here for you whenever you need me, Sarge. So don't forget that. Oh. Oh. All right. Second two, prepare to graduate. <clears throat> Staff Sergeant Stephanie Kawahe. <laughs> Sergeant First Class Frank Patelka. Staff Sergeant John Poinier. Sergeant First Class Brandon Raybon. Staff Sergeant Jonathan Reeves. Staff Sergeant James Reyes. <laughs> Staff Sergeant Dolan Centero. Staff Sergeant Edward Santiago. <coughs> Staff Sergeant Bill Simpson. Sergeant First Class James Smith. Staff Sergeant Danielle Spire. Staff Sergeant Janelle Tawa. <laughs> Staff Sergeant Mitchell T. The first award to be presented this morning will be the Iron Soldier Award. The Iron Soldier Award is awarded to the student in the class who achieved the highest score on the Army Physical Fitness Test. The recipient of the Iron Soldier Award for Class 18-011 is Staff Sergeant Danielle Spire. 
Staffs are inspired to the score of 283 on the Army Physical Fitness Test. Please come forward to accept your award. <laughs> Staff Sergeant Spire's name on it for this class that will hang in our hallway in the uh, display case for other classes and subordinates to come through and see. So, good job. Yeah. The next award to be presented is the Minuteman Award. The Minuteman Award is awarded to a student for outstanding leadership and upholding the highest standards of personal and professional conduct. The significance of this award is that it is voted on by their peers. The recipient of the Minuteman Award for First Platoon is Staff Sergeant Elizabeth Hash. Yeah. Recipient of the Minuteman Award for Second Platoon is Sergeant First Class Brandon Raybon. Presented today is the NCO Academy's Distinguished Honor Graduate Award. The Distinguished Honor Graduate Award is awarded to the soldier that exceeded course standards and that has the highest cumulative grade point average in the class. The recipient of the Distinguished Honor Graduate Award for Class 18-011 is Sergeant First Class Seth P. Heath had an overall GPA of 93.61. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the benediction and the exit of the official party. The benediction will be given by Sergeant First Class Brandon Raybon. Thank you, Father God, for your many blessings, God. We come to your gates with thanksgiving today, God. Your word says that you will give us exceedingly, abundantly, more than we could ever ask or imagine, Father. And I pray to Lord that blessing over each individual today as they go back to their own states, God, that this recruiting year will be a blessed year for them, God. Not only their careers, God, but in their family lives, Father. I pray to the Lord that they will find a balance between both, Father. Pray to the Lord for safe travels on their way home, whether it's by plane or vehicle, God, that you'll get them safely back to their states. We pray a blessing over our instructors today that they have an awesome year. We love you and we thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Class. 18-011, you are... Yeah. Yeah.